Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here. Back at you with another episode of Coffee with Coach. Um, bringing those mental vitamins to you this morning. So hope you're up, making some moves, got the mind in the right place. But if not, let's go ahead and put it there. So um, the compound effect, still reading the book. But this morning, I was actually listening to the audio because I got some stuff I had to do. So I was like, I don't got really a lot of time to sit here and read. So the good thing about it, go to YouTube put in the compound effect Darren Hardy and you can just listen to the whole book while you're driving walking running doing whatever and so that's what I was doing so I was doing my daily routine um, I'm just you know listening to the to the audio instead so the bitter versus better thing all right you got three friends this I, li- I like this little story that's in this book it's a it's a, it's a short story but there's there's a lot uh, into it but I'm gonna try and share the most important points so um, you got three friends. You got Larry, Scott, and Brad, right? So you have the first guy, the first friend. Um, they're all about equal, about the same, make about the same amount of money, you know, weight wise, everything like that, married, kids, and all that good stuff, right? So they're all doing about equally the same. And uh, Larry doesn't make any changes, doesn't make any moves. He's just stagnant, just, you know, settling, just kind of not really doing anything. Uh, better or worse, he's just the same. Then you got Scott, he wants to make some changes, so he starts reading, starts listening to audio books on his daily commute, he starts making small healthy choices, not a, not big ones, but just little ones to where they start making a difference down the road. And then you got the other guy, Brad, where he's just making bad choices. He wants to have fun, he wants to live a little, you know, adds uh, you know a couple alcoholic drinks throughout the week, some bad foods, so on and so forth. So, like they said in this book, like four or five months in, six months in, a year in, you really don't see a dramatic difference. But you start getting into that two-year mark, uh, maybe a little bit past that, um, you start seeing a dramatic shift, a dramatic change. Scott losing some weight because he's made some healthier choices. He's getting uh his mindset and everything else is better because of all the daily commutes, the things that he's listening to versus the radio and stuff like that. He's listening to audio books. And then you got uh, Brad where he's like just totally just spiraling backwards because he's just, you know, he's putting on weight. He's, you know, alcohol, bad foods. And, you know, it's just, you know, having fun. It's just a, a, a formula for disaster, right? Like, you know, it's just time and a place for the whole YOLO thing. But if it's every single day, you know, it's only going to um, put you in a in a bad spot. The Larry guy, though, they talk about um, in this audio or in this book, Darren Hardy talks about how he had a conference with uh, or a meeting with Tony Robbins. And Tony Robbins talks about the no man's land. So they're talking about don't be like Larry. So you got the three friends, right? Scott improving, making small incremental changes. Can't really see, you know, uh, you know, super big things changes right away, but over time they accumulate, okay, which is the compound effect. So it goes either way. The compound effect goes into a positive direction or it goes into nothing at all, right? Or like completely disastrous in the other direction. The no man's land where they say, don't be like Larry, where he's not making no changes. He's not trying to get better at all, making any moves. He's not really happy, but he's not unhappy enough to do anything about it. Man, that's deep stuff because there's, that's a lot of people out there where you're not really, you know, happy, but you're not unhappy enough to really do anything about it. So what happens? You don't make any changes. You're sitting around not really doing anything and you're watching your friend or friends improve, get better, make more money. Their lifestyle is better. They're getting healthier. They're losing weight. You're, you're probably putting on some weight hanging around the wrong friends, doing the, just watching more TV, you know, eating bad foods. And then over time, what happens? You get bitter. You're not getting better. And that right there uh, is something that you need to be self-aware about. So I, I, I have some people, like I said, I talk to people all the time. Like, it's just like a daily thing because I'm just, I have to interact with people. So they always like, I hear things or they tell me things or whatever. And it's just like, there's a lot of bitter people out there that I know and they're bitter because they're seeing other people get successful. They're seeing other people improve progress, move forward. 
And you got to be careful for those individuals that are being successful and moving forward and getting better. You got to be self-aware for those bitter ones because they're going to, it's like that crab in a barrel thing. They're going to try and pull you backwards real quick because they don't want to see you go where they're not willing to go themselves because they don't want to put in the work that you're putting in the work, right? So the bitter person, what happens? You just, you're just kind of mad at the world. You're mad at everyone else. The world is against you. Everyone's against you. Um, you know, life doesn't like you. And that's really not the case, man. Like life is just hard for everyone. Everyone has a storm that, that they have to go through and it's just constant storms, right? But for whatever reason, the bitter person, the people that I know, it just seems like it's just that cloud is always hanging over their head. And it's never really going to move from over the top of your head unless you change not big changes, like in this thing, the, the, the compound effect, they're talking about small incremental changes. Like say, for instance, financially, you're hurting. Put some money away, five bucks a week, 10 bucks a week, $20 a week, put something away, don't touch it. And before you know it, you'll have a little bit of savings versus no savings, because you want to spend your money every week. As soon as you get paid, you go to the mall or you go wherever to the bar or hang out with the friends. And every week you're just blowing money and you don't have any savings put away. You know, sometimes when I tell people what, how much I got saved, sometimes they trip out because it's like, well, you know, when I worked at General Motors, you know, I put like, I don't know, maybe a little over $200 a month, uh, a month, a week, because we got paid weekly out of my check every week. You know, that accumulated quite a bit over 11 years while I was there, plus now the money that I'm putting away now. So, so on and so forth. So you're financially in a bad spot, be more disciplined, put some money away, don't touch it. And leave it alone until, you know, it's time to go and use it for something that you need to go and use it for, not just playing around with it. The eating habits, same thing. Just make those small little, just, just take something out and change it with something good. And then over time, you'll start replacing some other things with some other better things and things just get better for you, right? So uh, I'll share a quick story with, with you real quick that, that um, kind of relates to all this. So I got a good friend of mine. He... Uh, um, is watching me, okay, when we were competing, okay, because there's no competition really right now, right? There, there's some, but not like there used to be because um, of all the stuff that's going on. So anyways, a couple years ago, um, you know, I'm on the move, man. I'm flying all over the world, all over the country, making moves, like just winning tournaments, you know, losing some tournaments, and uh, I'm getting better, and I'm just always out there, like, doing stuff. Well, this individual just was sitting around watching me do this stuff. And, you know, he actually told me this, right? So that's why I'm, I can share it with you because he was just like, man, you know, he just was a little bitter because he's seeing me do all this stuff, accomplishing all these things, winning all these titles. And he was just sitting around doing nothing with his jujitsu, still training, teaching, but not really doing much else with it besides that until finally Instead of being bitter, okay, because he said he was, he was like, man, I just kind of hated you for a little bit just because you were out there winning, you know, like making moves and I wasn't doing anything. So he was really just kind of mad at himself, not really mad at me. And um, comes over, starts asking questions, starts attaching himself to me, starts uh, making better choices, doing better things. And this, this individual is a very, very uh, completely different person than he was like around three years ago. But you're talking, you know, a couple of years now that this individual's kind of just been um, attached himself to me asking questions, what do I do about this, what do I do about that? You know, how do I eat? How do I run? How do I, you know, whatever. And um, just a way different individual lost a lot of weight. Jiu Jitsu is a lot better. Attitudes a lot better. He's like accomplishing more things like in life. And a lot of that is just being attached to someone or being around someone instead of being bitter about it, okay, about what they're doing, trying to get around them and try and improve and be better instead of bitter. And now this individual is better, like a lot better. Like I enjoy hanging out with him more because of the fact that his attitude is a lot like mine. And even in some cases, maybe even more than mine in certain areas because of the things that he now does that he didn't do. You know, we can make fun of it now and talk about it now. Like I, I tease him sometimes because, you know, 
he did. He put on a lot of weight. He was, he was overweight. You know, I tease him about that because he wasn't that way when I met him. You know, life happens and he let himself go. And uh, he looked a certain way. Didn't really care about his uh, uh, appearance, you know. And uh, now he does. Very clean cut uh, looking individual. Don't walk around all scruffy looking. Um, very lean, uh, muscular now, you know, like, like doesn't look like he just completely different. And he's actually told me what I'm telling you. Like he's, he's like, man, I was just a little bitter with you, like a little, little, little hating, drinking the haterade, you know, because of the fact that I was out there doing what I was doing, wasn't settling and just getting after it. And he could have did the same thing. It's just, he chose not to. So over time, you see someone doing something like that, you got two choices. One, jump on the bandwagon and get better and, and improve. Or two, get better, get, get bitter, be hateful, be mad all the time. Life sucks. The world, everyone in the world is against you. And then just stay the same or just go completely backwards. So there's really only two choices. You're either gonna get bitter and stay where you're at, have a bad taste in your mouth every day when you wake up and not do anything about anything, or make a lifestyle change, make a mindset change, change the way you think, change the way who you are on the inside and on the outside as well. Care about every little detail, okay? Because details matter, like like uh, like this indiv individual I'm talking about, like, um, like my car has to be clean. Like every week the car gets clean, gets washed, gets cleaned out on the inside. If you're riding dirty, you know, uh, I'll walk by your car and you got wrappers and socks and laundry all in the back seat and stuff all in the front seat. It says a lot about you. It says that you're lazy and you don't care. What else are you lazy and don't care about, right? Same thing with the dishes in the sink. You got dishes in the sink piling up. Okay, what else is piling up? What else isn't cleaned up? What else isn't organized? All the details, the smallest details matter. And this individual that I'm referring to has changed a lot of that stuff to where like, they pay attention to the details now. And because they pay attention to the details, they are a lot better. And so, you know, we just wanted to share that with you because um, it's a good, really little story. So you got Larry, Scott, Brad. Again, don't be like Larry, Tony Robbins, no man's land, not really happy, but not unhappy enough to do anything about it. And then you come what? You become bitter because you're seeing other people around you like, uh, get you know doing better and you're mad at the world because well why is it happening to me why because your attitude's wrong and you're not doing anything about anything you're being lazy you don't want to do the things that you know you need to do to make those changes you want things to change you got to put things in place but small start off small work your way up and eventually you'll start to make that clear path to where like you won't even allow yourself to be the person that you used to be because the bitter person because you know those habits and those things that you used to do got you where you were unhappy with, right? So again, it's a fear of mine every day. Like I know like there's days, like I said, tired, sore, beat up. Uh, you know, right now I'm out, I gotta go, go up to the school, hit some deadlifts and dips and some, some shoulder presses and stuff like that, some abs before jujitsu class. Gotta get it in, you know? Sore, it's Thursday, it's towards the end of the week. Got a lot of rounds in this week, like normal. Doesn't matter, doesn't just, doesn't matter. It's like Sisyphus, the story. Keep pushing the rock, all right? So you can either be bitter today and the rest of the day and the rest of the week and the weekend and be mad at everyone, or you can be better. Make some changes. Do better because you know you can. All right, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you.